Alright, what's going on YouTube? Miguel here, and today I bring you guys episode 2 of Project Pony. One of the very first things I learned how to do when I started working on cars was change my own oil. That's actually what we're going to do today, so let's get into it. Alright y'all, day 2, project build. As y'all can see right there, uh, I got a little bit of oil. There goes my cat. Alright, so anyways, as I was saying, we're going to be changing the oil in this thing just because it's been sitting for years and it's got old oil in it. I need this thing to be running right. I actually don't use the jack. I'm going to put this thing on ramps and uh, we're going to get this going. So, All right, so I went ahead and got the ramps and honestly, yeah, these are pretty the ass or heavy as hell. But uh, you probably noticed, we also got to do an oil change on this thing. Ugly ass BMW. She's going to kill me for saying that, but I don't care. Anyways, a lot of y'all are probably asking like, why don't you just like... Why don't you just get a jack and put it on jack stands, you know? It would be so much easier and uh, I mean, you're not wrong, it would, but let me just show you all my driver real quick. So we've got the 5 -o, which is like, you know, grapes on everything, so, you know, jack and jack stands might not actually work. And then over here, got the mamalona, which is, you know, kind of tall. So again, I, I don't know if, you know, a, a jack and jack stands would work. All right, y'all, so vote right now, pause this video, and in the comments, let me know, can I get this thing up on these ramps by myself? without losing my bumper because like i mean we're good you got good clearance way better than the other mustang but i mean i, I think we'll be okay right there right all right i'm not gonna lie that was scary as shit because i had to do this by myself i thought i was way closer to the end yeah i think we're good right here should be able to get in under it just fine but let's actually you know start on this oil change all right so i figured while i'm doing this i might as well teach you how to change your oil in case you don't know step number one take off your old cap obviously you know step two find your drain plug 98 mustang it's actually going to be here over on the, the passenger side gonna need a, a 16 millimeter here so i'm just gonna pop that off i don't know if i should be worried or not but like i was looking for the filter a whole lot of oil on this especially like all right there just all caked up looks gross all right oil's done draining very dark down here y'all probably can't see honestly not a lot of oil in there i went ahead and checked it like before so i went ahead and checked it like before i actually drained it and according to my dip state it was like right at the minimum which again is very worrying just because like that's not good bro i'm about to pop on this drain plug and then go ahead and take this shit out all right just want to interrupt your regularly scheduled automotive car vlog old change thing to let you guys know i actually had to come to autozone because i need a band ranch because the stupid oil filter is on too tight i don't know if y'all can see that but there's like a, a black c8 corvette right there i'm not gonna lie i'm a mustang guy but like the c8 is so clean bro i love it it's beautiful I want one. Buy me one. Subscribe so I can buy one. Go, do it right now. Down here. Go. Got the band ranch. Hoping this fits and I'm hoping I don't need one for the BMWs. If I have to come back here again, I'm probably not going to do anything just because, you know, I'm going to have to do this whole change either way. This man's got like three people helping him clean his C8. All right, so y'all remember like two seconds ago when I said I didn't want to have to come back here? If I have to come back here again, well, guess what? I'm back here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm done. I bought the wrong side band ranch. Almost done with this. Now that we got the old filter off, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and lube up this little gasket on the new filter. Cause you know, lubing stuff up is always important. You always wanna have lube no matter what. All right, new filter's on. Went ahead and tightened it already. Hand tighten it so I can actually take it off next time. Drain plug, it's tight. Oh, ready for oil. Last but not least, we're actually gonna pop in the oil and then So Eli, the last thing you want to do is actually check your oil levels. So, so far so good. Didn't see any leaks down there. He's all wondering. Cluster still doesn't work. Probably gonna fix that either next time or in two videos because I gotta do spark plugs. That beeping is so annoying. Anyways, I gotta do spark plugs and then fix this as well as like my, my odometer. It's been stuck on, what did that say? Yeah, like I said, no leaks. Car's looking good. I'm gonna do the Beamer next, so. Just got done with the Beamer. Some of y'all probably even watching at this point. No, this isn't my car. Imagine driving a Beamer, like, could never be. 
two bottles on trips later, two wrench sets later. We're good. Say hi to my cat. All right, so that's gonna be it for this week's video. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below what was your favorite part, and then subscribe to follow along with my videos because still got a long way to go.